Hey guys, welcome to another Brood War Ladder Battle. This is a game that was played just this week. We got Soma versus Motive. That should be a fun one. Motive, I mean, is a great player. Should definitely be able to give Soma a run for his money. Soma is still in the military, guys. I know. I mentioned it last game. Last time I casted Soma, but... Um, some people still threw their questions down in the comments. So, he is in the military. You are you are allowed to play on Ladder. Um, you are allowed to play in your free time. You're just not allowed to make any money, is the thing. You're not allowed to stream, you're not allowed to do any events. So Soma just keeping his hands warm here. You know, not letting the rust get too thick. Knocking it off right now. I'm sure he took a little bit of a break when he started, you know, military service, when he did basic training and that type of thing, but I guess he's maybe done that part. And is, uh, you know, into whatever job he's doing for the military, whether that's desk work or whatever. Not really sure with Soma, but he is playing some ladder games and he's going to be taking on Motive here, who is quite the abusive Protoss player. And we've seen him take down some really strong Zergs in the past. Is quite good at this matchup. We'll see if he's able to... You know, take on Soma here and, and give him a hard time. I think he's hiding the probe. I'm not sure what what was the point of hiding the probe there. I'm gonna come in and, and see the pool, I guess. And um should be able to block this. I like what Soma's doing here. I personally really like to do this. Just chase the probe, fight the probe, try to kill the probe if you can. Um before they end up blocking your hatchery. Can he get the hatch? He does. Excellent. So yes, very, very good stuff here. Coming out of Soma. He built an extra drone, so he can only build two lings. That's fine, because he sees that it's a uh, forge first. And yeah, if you come down here and you start fighting the probe, the probe can go around and around and around you. Um, And then as soon as you try to... You, you can chase as much as you want trying to hit it. But as soon as you try to put down the hatchery, it'll just block you. But if you... St Go right here, and you fight the probe on the ramp here. The probe can't see you. Um, so as soon as you go up the ramp, it has to assume you're going to the natural. It has to come up, and then you can attack it. And you can keep getting hits like that over and over again. And you might be able to uh, either kill it or uh, have an opportunity to run in and, and uh, go ahead and throw down the hatchery. And that's exactly what we saw. Soma in a good spot here. Not a great spot. It's not like he's done any damage or any damage has been done to him, though. And that's kind of where you want to be as Zerg. You just want to play your game. You want to get into your hatcheries. Don't get blocked. Don't get harassed. And hopefully you everything will go smoothly. You can get into uh, your Spire or whatever else you want to do. Now, we have the gas here. It's going to start to mine now. The layer is going to come down shortly. I didn't see the exact timing on this gas. But we'll assume that it's in time for him to get Lair. Um, oh, he's going to build a Hydroden. Ah, okay. Goes for the Hydroden instead. Right as the probe gets pushed out of the main, he goes for the Hydroden. Um, well, it is a vertical natural. There's quite a bit of surface area here uh, to hit the uh, gateway and such. We'll see if he's able to actually break through here. A third Overlord. We rarely ever see the third Overlord over here, but he sent it across the map as well. Catches the probe. Very nice work. The probe saw that extra hatchery. Looks like Motive going to go around. He's going to go all the way around here. Oh, no. He, he sends the Zealot back. Oh, that's unfortunate. That's going to get spotted immediately. And maybe if he'd sent it over here and then sent it in, Lings might not have spotted that. He might have been able to get a full scout, but... Instead, he brings the Zealots together. Now, he's pulling back the Overlords. This is a feint from Soma. He's pulling back the Overlords because you need the Overlords at the front if you're going to do a Hydra Bust. But if you're not if you're not going to do a Hydra Bust, you want to bring back the Overlords so that they don't get picked off by the Corsairs. Or you want to hide them somewhere on the map. So, this is kind of a fake out. He's sending the Overlords back, pretending like he's gone for a Spire here when actually it's going to be Hydralisk. Uh bust pretty darn soon we've got a second cannon coming up 
Was that Ling's speed as well? I didn't actually see if he got Ling's speed or not. We've got Hydras here with speed now. Range is on the way. More Hydras are popping. Um, one Hydra over here, unfortunately. Got to bring that to the front. Don't want to leave that there. That is uh, a large part of your army right now. There it is. Okay, he does get it. Um, all right, Zealots are still being pulled around right now. He sees the Hydras, though. Got to pull the probe immediately. Start building cannons. Yeah, the panicking built or pulled two probes there. Uh, almost blocked himself for a second. Gonna start to hit the gateway here. <clears throat> Can't quite hit the gateway with all uh, four of these, though. I'm sure he can get another one on the top side. <sighs> That's unfortunate. Is he gonna lose that? Oh, he did. That that really sucks. Uh, Overlords are gonna start to take some damage, but we've got Hydras out here in the front. Another hatchery is about to get set down. Looks like it got blocked uh, a little bit by the Hydra. So we'll finally get that. Gateway goes down. Starting to hit the forge. I think he can get this forge. Yeah, he should be able to get that in time. He should even be able to put one more Hydra here. Um, no kills on this Corsair just yet. Good defense overall, but starting to drone up now. As you can see, four drones in production. We got four. Can we get this? Oh, it's so close. The Zealots are going to come out to just try to buy some time. He kills two Hydras. Oh, it's so close. Hit it, hit it, hit it, hit it. Oh, he gets it. He finished it. Nice. The sacrifice of the two Zealots was worth it. They're going to come back as Dragoons a little bit later on. Uh, their life was indeed for ire there. So they do manage to secure the plus one. He's still building uh, some cannons here, but he should be able to get in and see that there's really not any more hatches building, and he should cancel these two cannons at least. Come on, Motif. Cancel it for me, baby. Cancel it. Yes, there it is. He heard my cries. All right, all right. We've got more gateways coming up. We should go to eight gates here as quickly as possible. That's why you want to cancel the cannons. You really do need to cancel uh, because your gateway timing is just going to be so late if you don't. Looks like the Corsair actually got picked off and more Hydras are being made right now. He's going to try and hit a timing here right before uh, the Storm is done because we don't have Storm yet. We've got Templar Archives on the way right now. So Storm is really far by, uh, away from being finished. He is just going to try to rip through this. We've got two lings here. He's going to go for it. Here we go. Diving on top of the cannons. The zealot speed is done. Um, but that's a lot of hydras coming in right now. Hydras getting a little bit low. Uh, zealot number almost run out here. There's one more zealot. There it goes down. Jumping on top of the cannons. Now the probes have been pulled. The probes are going to be a very key part of this defense. Might be able to pick off this pylon here. He loses two hydras trying to hit that pylon without uh, without being in range here. That is rough. Plus one is on the way. So there is, you know, a way back into this for Soma. But he has, I mean, he's put a lot of hydras into this attack. He still has more hydras arriving here at the front. He's going to try to pull the trigger again, I think. But maybe just to bait the Zealots forward to pick off a bunch of them. Uh, because he's droning behind this and adding on a second gas. He's up to five hatch. Um, Layer is now on the way as well. So eventually we'll get into range. Or uh, speed, sorry. Uh, over Overlord speed. That one cannon finishing up there at the front is a little bit annoying. Oh, the Hydras are going to be attacked here. Just going to dive right on top of them. The Micro is pretty good. I like him pulling back those Hydras at the front there. Taking a pretty decent trade against these Zealots. And now he's not really going to be able to move out. Uh, Motive's not going to be able to move out for quite some time here. He needs to add on these extra gates. He's only at four. There's five. He has on another cannon at the front, too. He's a little bit scared right now. He doesn't actually know if there's another big wave coming. Um, Storm is here, but the upgrade is not ready. The Storm Boys haven't been equipped just yet. There's more drones coming out. Wow, 46 drones now. He's got all the drones he'll need for quite some time. Um, at least on three bases here. Once he gets to four base, he might want to go up to like 50, 60. But uh, for now, he is completely fine on drones. Even adding on one more. I guess you're going to throw down a bunch of buildings here pretty soon. 
Queen's Nest, double Evo, that sort of thing. Oh, Spire there on the way as well. Corsair's coming across the map. Gonna go in for the scout here. He wants to figure out what's coming. Overlord Speed, of course, finally gonna be researched here. And Motive's gonna push out, but everything is dark and scary on the map for Motive right now. He's just gleaning a little bit of information and seeing the drone count. They're probably gonna be feeling a little bit scared. This is a big Soma now. Soma's got a lot of economy behind this. And the gateways are just coming into, you know, starting to produce units here. 60 probes is pretty decent. Gonna be feeling all right on 60 probes right now. You can actually afford to have a third base off of this. Maybe take it here. Sending out the uh, Templar right now. This is a, a bit of a gamble play. Want to come across the map and deal damage right now, but if Soma is on top of this, he comes in with a couple of uh, Hydras from the side. He can pick off a lot of these Templar before they even join the battle. He's a little bit slow to that party, but he is going to get in there now. Um, oh gosh, this is going to be really, really rough here in the natural... If he's not careful. Oh, great snipe there. Really great dodge and snipe with the uh, Hydras out here on the front. Gonna come from multiple angles. And yeah, the gamble is not paying off right now. I thought he was gonna push forward and get the big storm on top of all the Hydras that are behind the wall. Uh, where they just don't have any room to maneuver and dodge. But unfortunately, didn't get the greatest storms. And the Hydra spreading is fantastic. Look at how he pulls back the Hydras one group at a time. See, there's lots of zealots over here. Ooh, that was a big storm. Um, he's pulling back the hydras that are being targeted. Like this one right here. There's four zealots attacking that. Just going to pull it away. And the rest of the hydras can keep attacking. Really good stuff here from Soma. Handling that really, really well. Now, a base is trying to be taken here on the center right. I don't know if that can be held. But uh, some Templar are probably going to head up there to try and uh, cover that position. Nine Mutas just got started here. This is a great tech switch as well. Because I bet you the last thing on the mind here for uh, Motive right now is a tech switch into Mutas. You've just taken a, a fight here that didn't go very well. Um, he ended up losing a ton of Zealots. His ground army is really, really weak. A lot of a Templar went down in that last fight. He's trying to take a third base, and you're just going to make a huge wave of Muta to come across the map and just snipe all of these Templar. It's really smart play. Soma is going to do very, very well with it, I believe. Oh, he spots it with the Observer. He's going for the main, actually. That's interesting. Just flying straight into the main. It's going to be hard to get Dragoons back in there. Um, this is going to present like a really big problem for Motive right now. He doesn't have anything to defend this. He had one cannon. Uh, he's going to lose a lot of probes. And meanwhile, can we see Soma push into the third base? He's taking his own fourth here in the top left. And those drones are going to do long distance mining. That's going to be rough. Coming into the front here. Can he get some snipes on these Templar? He's looking for it. Oh, the opportunity is there. Great storm. Last second storm there. Gets thrown down. It deals as much damage as possible to these... Uh, oh my god. God, that was a lot of damage from that storm as well. Really not getting the uh, Templar snipes that he wanted. Oh, ho, ho, that Templar is standing right on top of all the Hydras. Actually getting a great storm there. But Hydra's still pushing forward here. Pure Dragoon army right in the front uh, at the moment. So just targeting down whatever he can and backing away as soon as the cannons come in range. Three cannons over here. Four cannons, in fact, over on the third base. Can't really take that fight, so just going to back away. And things are really going to be even here as we move into mid-game. Another wave of Midas is going to pop out. He didn't get the Templar snipes he was looking for. He got one Templar, I think. But he did, you know, he did a little damage in the main. He kind of slowed Motive down. He removed some of the probes. We're down to just 58, and I don't know if he's going to make any more. Uh, I think he's just completely focused on building up this big army right now. And pro possibly taking his fourth base. Uh, we really don't have a lot of zealots on the field. So he's going to start to add some of those now. But counterattacks up into the top left would be the, the play right now. However, Soma really has great map coverage. He sees everything. Another flying to the main. Look at this. Comes into the main again. But there's two cannons this time. So motive... 
Um, even though all the Midas were killed, he still recognizes it as a possibility. He cannot storm this. <laughs> he cannot storm this. Uh, we are going to lose quite a few probes here, but you just cannot throw a storm here without killing all the probes at one of these patches. Um, going after the cannon here in the mineral line, he's still got six Midas uh, in the stack, so killing off a lot of probes right now. Gonna come back to the natural, it looks like, or will he? Just kind of chilling over top of this area, making it a problem for motive that he has to deal with. Burrow on the way. Okay, I love to see it. Love to see Burrow. Um, Ling attack, of course. Queen's Nest finally gonna come down here. It's a little bit late. Uh, a lot of times, Zerg players will get to like a 14 minute defiler. We're already at 16 minutes, and only Queen's Nest is starting now. This is a. a a factor of, I guess, going for the big Metalisk transition, right? If we're going to Metalisk, we kind of have to stay on Hydras for a little bit longer. If we uh, transition into Lurkers, then we have a lot of defensive capability. We can actually hold on until Hive is done. So, Hive still not started here. Soma lacking on that a little bit. Seven more Metas in production. Wow. Really heavy on the Metalisk production here. And... I haven't seen a single lurker. Okay, there they are. A few lurkers over here on the right-hand side. Just containing this one spot here. Uh, I like it, but Motive's just going to run into it. Oh my goodness. Losing two dragoons off the bat. A little bit rough there for Motive. Flying in now with the 12 Mitas. Or 11 Mitas here. Diving on top of the Templar. Three Templar. Four Templar. Go down. A big storm on top of his own units here. Damn. The... the uh, Mutas do finally disappear, but all the Templar are gone, and Hydras are closing in from multiple different angles. Look at this wide area of attack right here. This is a beautiful play by Soma, but can he actually break the fourth base right now off of that? We do have a few storms remaining. Oh my god, that storm was insane. Lurkers and Hydras just running into the meat grinder of Storm and Dragoon Fire. And I think that we're probably going to see Motive hold, although Lings are coming in to kind of assist here. The the rally point coming up to help out right now. Oh, going to lose one Archon. That's, that's sad. But as the Archon goes down, Soma has to retreat. Another base on the way here in the top left. He's continuing to expand. Um, continuing to add on hatcheries as well. So really getting into, you know, if you get four or five hatcheries up here, that's prime like late game real estate that's when you that's when you have just so much economy that um you can produce just insane numbers of cracklings just overwhelm your opponent one dt making its way in here as the army pushes in on the right hand side this dt is gonna cause quite some issues here uh yeah he's um Trying to micro like a couple of dr drones while this whole fight is going on at the same time. Maneuvering around this uh, left hand side. Looks like uh, Motive going to push up towards the hatchery here. But he's got to be careful not to get completely surrounded. Two Templar coming up from the rear. But that's all the Templar he's got right now for this next fight. A great spread and burrow here on these lurkers. You can't really take this fight right now as Motive. Motive has to run away here. He's got one more storm. He throws it down, but he's going to lose the Templar on the backside of this. Not backing away quickly enough. A lot of the times what you want to do is not fully commit into a fight with the Zerg player. You want to uh, cast storms and back away and have a couple of storms as you back away as well. So you have like a, a, a flanking army or, or what, whatever, retreating defense, something like that. Oh, this, this DT is being super annoying. 12 kill DT? Wait, where did all the 12 kills come from? I'm going to put a picture in picture for this DT so we can see his journey. This guy has been on a, a serious, serious adventure this game for 12 kills. I have no idea where that came from. I don't think it was all drones. Um, Because we do have a great drone count here for Selma. Now, it's, it's not like I see an empty base somewhere, but he's been killing something out there getting some sick kills uh, maybe on hydras or whatever but uh, maybe a group of lings you know that type of thing you can really get a lot of kills like that but now taking the fight here at the front targeting down a couple of templar here at the uh, at the uh, foreground of this fight 
That's um That's not good for motive. He's not very high on Templar count now. He has taken another base though down here at six o'clock, so he's continuing to grow as well. Uh, I'm just getting a little bit worried about him because his army is not looking that big. And yeah, Soma is just looking massive. 160 supply at this point. Is taking some great trades. Some really great trades right now. Oh, a storm on that would be so damn good. Okay, he does get the storm on that. Very nice. Bunch of lurkers going to die there. But the dragoon count has been lowered. The army is not looking that great. We've got six more dragoons coming out. Finally, Defilers are going to hit the field here. 21 minutes in. He's about to run out of gas uh, in his main. There it is, depleted. And he finally gets a, temp or a Defiler out pretty darn late here. But it's been quite a chaotic game thus far. Quite chaotic indeed. Um, one thing I'd like to mention is that Guardians on this map are very strong. We could put Guardians over on this base. We could put Guardians over here. You can deny the gas. Um, it's pretty much out of range, I think, of Storm. If you put the Guardians, like, right there and hit the gas, it's pretty hard to get a Storm off on that. Just something to mention if we get into the very, very late stages of this game. Uh, also, very important to mention is that if this space goes down here and we split the map in half as motive, it's nearly impossible to win the game at that point for Soma. Oh, this is great. Crackling with uh, Dark Swarm here. He's going to get all the probes, I think. Beautiful uh, hits there on those probes. Really, really fantastic. Uh, meanwhile, though, this base in the center right left is going to go down. A lot of uh, drones are going to fall here. He's dropping down to 70. Uh, dude, Soma really overproducing drones this game. He must have been almost at 80 drones. A bunch of burrowed units there. That's funny. One thing about burrow is if you've got... Uh, your army on like a bunch of hockeys. Ooh, plague, huge, huge plague there. Oh, another great plague on this army as it advances forward. And this base has been killed. What else can Motive do with this plagued army? Can he actually get another kill on another base here? Um, I don't think so. This army is gonna get completely surrounded here shortly. A lot of cracklings coming in from all sides. The cracklings eat everything alive so quickly. We've got great upgrades here for Motive, but he's got three armor, which is not something that you typically see because Plague is just gonna negate that completely. Um, only two attack, and there's actually two armor now on the Lings, so Zealots are not gonna trade very well with them anymore. Three hitting instead of two hitting. This is becoming a very Soma uh, favored game. I mean, we're 60 supply ahead right now, but I, you gotta mention, oh god, that plague was amazing. Hit every single zealot there. You gotta mention, if Motive takes this base, he could play a game of keep away here. And we could take this to like a really late look, a uh, really late time. Take this all the way to the very, very late stages of the, the matchup here with, you know, Reavers and Templar everywhere, just keeping and keeping away and keeping away and keeping away forever. Um, I've definitely played some games like that uh, in the past on my own uh, ladder experience, but we'll see if Motive actually gets there. He's starting to throw down this Nexus, but we've got a group of Hydras over here that should be able to clean that up. And this group of army to the north is going to get surrounded and finished. So, yeah, one last storm and the Archon will go down. I don't know if we can hold this. I don't see Templar here. Zealots are in low number. I'm um, going to dive on top of these Hydras. I guess he can stop this with just Zealot. But more Ling Crackling coming across the map here. Great storm there. Just dealing with a lot of that Crackling army. I'm going to storm the Archon. It's fine. We kill all the Lings. So we're going to take that trade right now. I think it's close. Yeah, GG. He taps out Motive. Just could not get this base online uh, during all of this chaos. He couldn't break this base here for the second time. I feel like if Motive had killed this base, let's just go back for a second. Let's 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 just take a trip uh, back in time here, and I can explain my thoughts on I think what Motive uh, what Motive could have done a little bit better.
So right around here, let's see, Motive pushes in towards this left-hand side. He actually breaks this base. He breaks this base and he kills it. He doesn't actually kill the hatchery though, which is a big mistake. He pulls back before the hatchery is dead. He panics, I think, because he lost his base here in the center right. He gets a little bit nervous. This is not a very important base anymore. We've got like a couple thousand minerals here, maybe three, four thousand. So it's still a worthwhile base to hold. But if we secure this, this doesn't even matter anymore. We can fight for this later. It's very, very close to the rally point. But this base down here is really the, the key to winning this game right now. Um, the rallies, of course, from Soma just insane. He's got so much economy. He has so many bases. He's got a ton of hatcheries. I thought he'd actually add on more hatcheries up here. Um, could even do with adding more, I think. On 70 drones, you can afford so many hatches. But anyway, we didn't kill this base. But imagine if we kill this base and we back up <clears throat> down to this location. If this army, look at this, 152 supply. This is a pretty decent army. If we move down here and start roaming the middle again <clears throat> while taking this bottom left base, I think the position is a lot a lot better but instead he shoves into this very narrow location he gets plagued a bunch and he didn't finish this base this is this is really really rough i think he thought like i need to end this game uh, um panic really from motive here uh did not need to shove forward there did not need to try and win right here right now um taking it to a longer game that was probably the right call, but <clears throat> he ends up pushing in here, losing his whole army. You can just see everything coming from every angle. Look at all this stuff just coming in from every single side here. Not really uh, the attack that you want to pull off right now as motive. He realizes his mistake right here um, as things are coming from every single different direction. And... His rallies are just all the way across the map. He's got no time to get this rally in. He still has two bases. I don't know why he panics so hard. I mean, on two base mining, we can absolutely afford to continue fielding big armies here as Protoss uh, and taking the fight to the Zerg player. But we need to keep growing. And he didn't really grow down here into the bottom left corner of the map. So... So, so my, I mean, he's showing off some fantastic macro. Uh, I love the, the Mutalus switches. That's so Soma, uh, Soma-esque play there uh, to, ju to just go for that type of thing. Just a big Muta switch in the middle of the uh, Hydra game and sniping Templar, just going for the main base. Really, really fantastic stuff from him. I'm glad to see that he doesn't have too much rust on him right now, even Motive. You know, seeing that, uh, yeah, this guy is still a serious and formidable force. Guys, that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.